Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I really wanted to film a vlog for you today. I wanted to do like my evening routine or something along those lines but it's just been a really hectic week and I didn't get a chance to do that. So I thought why not do a cook with me because I know you guys absolutely love them. Um, this is a little snippet that I was going to put in the vlog that never happened. But Noah's got his little kitchen in the kitchen and he loves to cook along whilst I'm cooking. Um, and today I'm going to make a chicken jar frazzy. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Here are all of the ingredients. I will list them down below as well. But feel free to increase things or decrease things as you like. Because I know some people like things more spicy, etc. Um, so I'm going to start off by chopping the onions. I'm just going to put in two large white onions. Just cut them up into small squares. I'll heat the oil in the pan whilst I'm chopping up the onions. Um, for a gel frazzy, I do use a lot of oil because I kind of like to fry the chicken before it cooks, if that makes sense. I'll also be adding three tomatoes later on, so I'm just going to chop these into four pieces. Um, I'm also going to be adding some bell peppers to my gel frazzy. My favourite colours to add are the green one and the orange one because they just look really nice in the sauce. But I didn't have any so I just went with a yellow bell pepper and a red bell pepper and I just chopped them up into chunky bits. I'll also be adding four or five pieces of garlic and a spoon of coriander. I didn't have any ground coriander so I kind of ground this myself. Not very well though. <laughs> So my oil is heated up, I'm going to add in the onions and I'm going to cook them for a little while until they are slightly brown. Once the onions are slightly brown, then I'll add in the chicken. Oh, here's a little clip of me blending the tomatoes. The jalfrezi is a lot nicer if you don't blend them. I feel like the sauce is a lot thicker. Um, but it takes a lot longer to cook the tomato, so I prefer to blend it just to save a little bit of time. Um, I'm adding the chicken in now, and I'm going to wait until this is kind of cooked. So when it's looking white all over, then I add in the garlic, coriander, and a spoon of ginger paste. I'll fry the chicken, the onions, the garlic, and the ginger paste for a little while, and then I'll add in the spices. For the spices you can use whatever you like. I put in um, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of garam masala I think. You can add in paprika to make your sauce more red or add in turmeric to make the chicken more yellow. I also added in two chopped chilies and some chili flakes. This wasn't spicy at all but that's because I wanted Noah to eat it. And he didn't <laughs> but that's another story but if you want it more spicy then feel free to add more spices um i'll chuck in the tomatoes as well and then put the lid on and let that cook for about 20 minutes on a low heat and whilst that's cooking i'll wash the dishes this is what it looks like i'll add in the peppers after 20 minutes And then put the lid on and let it cook again for about 10 minutes until the peppers are slightly soft. Once it looks like your chicken and your peppers are ready, just check in some coriander and you are done. This is what the finished curry looks like. It doesn't look that amazing, but it did taste really, really nice. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video and I'll see you all soon.